Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, Today we're going to go through my favourite products, beauty products and makeup of 2018. Where the fuck is this year gone? Someone tell me. We're just going to chill. Go through the products who have made the cuts. I'm a very big creature of habit so when I find something that works for me I tend to use it. Very much so. So this is my end of year favourites I guess. And products that I feel really made a difference in the booty community. Let's get it started and huh? Let's get it started in Arita. First off, we have this Kiehl's Moisturizer. It's the Ultra Facial Cream. So this is what I use to prep my skin all the time. Ever since I went to see Makeup by Mario with Clyde 10 way back in April, he uses this to prep his skin on all his models, whether they've got oily skin, dry skin, whatever. He preps them all the same. To be honest, I don't know if it makes my makeup last longer. I... I don't know. It does make my skin feel smoother and my makeup apply smoother. Also before foundation, the two products I have been loving this year are these two illuminators. So we have the Flormar Double Radiance Primer Highlighter. Oh, it has SPF 10. Check your world. This is the champagne colour. You guys might have seen me use this in my other tutorials. I basically it gives a gorgeous sheen to the face, but I also use it all over my collarbones. This Rijan Delicatage, Decolletage. I still haven't learned how to say that bloody word. If someone would like to teach me, that would be splendid. And the second one that has come into my life recently enough, but I just love it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Hello Flawless Filter. I mean, anything of Charlotte Tilbury's, I'm obsessed with. It just goes without saying, if you want that supermodel, glow then this shit is for you. I know a lot of people got confused by this because they thought it was supposed to be a foundation. No no it's literally like an illuminator with a little bit of colour behind it though. To be honest I wear this a lot by itself. Glow but a little bit of colour as well. Evens out the base you know. Beautiful glowing stunning. Good thing though that I feel like I'm missing from my kit or everyday routine shall you say is a liquid highlighter so or cream highlighter so you have any good ones that you'd recommend to me, leave them down below. Hello, why do you keep turning off me? Stop it. Moving on to foundation. Yeah, my favorite foundation of the year is definitely not a shock, or shouldn't be a shock to any of you guys. It is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Also the most longest named foundation of the year. This foundation, honestly, has been a game changer for me. I've always used NARS foundations. I love the sheer glow, but this one, the lasting power of it is just... The reason why I love this foundation so much and what I look for in a foundation is something that feels lightweight but has lots of coverage. So something that's not super thick or creamy looking but is super pigmented. I wore this foundation in the Vegas heat I wore it in Iceland, in the bloody blizzard, in the mountains, and it's just never done me wrong. I love it. The only thing with this foundation is it's so bloody hard to, it's so hard to get. Everyone loves it. I have the shade Punjab, Santa Fe for when I'm a little bit darker. I look very orange right now, but it's because we're up against the light background. Let's Calm down. Another foundation I think is great is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I really, really like it. It really suits my sister's skin. She's a lot more oilier than me and she wants more full coverage. So if you want full coverage and long lasting, All Nighter is for you. I haven't tried a lot of foundations though. When I say this is the foundation I have been wearing all year, I do not lie. Moving on to concealer. Again, skin products, I don't really venture out. Too much with them. Once I find something I like, I kind of tend to stick with it. I don't break up with a product very often. But my three concealers that I've been loving this year is the Tarte Shape Tip, obviously, but I actually only tried it this year. The Makeup Revolution, then, which is actually supposed to be a dupe for Tarte Shape Tip. And then, of course, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade. Vanilla. All very similar. My skin has not been cooperating with me. Well, no. <laughs> I've been picking my skin. So that's why it's it's not cooperating with me. So I need a little bit more concealer recently just to help with that situation. Ah! Oh. We're okay. I was just being dramatic. 
I like to black them with my foundation brush a lot of the time and just make sure there's no like big white triangles underneath my face or anything weird like that. Moving on to powder. So today was the first year that I like baked. Got in with all the cool kids. And the powder I've been liking for this is actually the Huda Beauty one in the shade Pound Cake. But what I like to do is literally just load it up and get it right in there. I like to apply it with a sponge. I think everyone applies with a sponge. Oh my god, I'm not cool. I was using the Laura Mer Mer Mercier one but I ran out of it. <laughs> I dropped it. <laughs> I don't leave it on super long like what other people do. I just literally put it on and then take it all off again. <laughs> And then the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade. Oh, this is fair. Okay, cute. This is a new one, see, and I used to have medium. So what I like to do with this is take my powder, take my sponge and press it into the skin. This powder for oily gals is insane. You will love it. It literally like Fills in your pores first of all, like I have pores around this region like a lot of people and it just fills them in nicely. <laughs> Moving on to bronzer, my favourite bronzer of this year has to be the Flormar bronzing, like look at the size of it. Mine is broken and it tatters because I just love it so much. This is in the shade Sun Kiss. You only need the tiniest amount, a little bit goes such a long way. You guys know I like to be warm and shout out to this brush as well it's the Jaclyn Hill Morphe bronzing brush I just love it time for blusher I had to throw out my luminoso my Milani luminoso because it was just it was done she, she she's been through it so a few of my other faves are benefit California I hate myself um, and NARS orgasm be like everyone else is starting to get on my wavelength here when it comes to blusher. Blusher was really creeping in this year. I've seen a lot more people kind of turning towards it and using it a lot more of it, which made me really happy. I wear more blusher than what I do bronzer. It's what I like. Get out of my ass. I feel like that's been my quote of this year as well, by the way. Get out of my ass. Dara Nova slanks me for it. He says it's not real. Or that doesn't make sense, but, but like, get out of my ass. Highlighter. This one's a hard one for me because I feel like I have a real love-hate relationship with highlighter. I don't know, I just feel like, obviously depending on how my skin is acting, highlighter then performs based off of that. So if your skin's really textured or whatever, the highlighter's just gonna look shitty, basically. But a few of my favourite highlighters of the year has to be, obviously, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amarezi. This one does tend to bring out texture sometimes, though. Sometimes, if you're not careful. Becca, all Becca highlighters are insane. All MAC highlighters are insane. And of course, this year I fell in love with Ofra's Glazed Donuts by Nikki Tutorials. The perfect Instagram highlighter, but in real life, I only use the tiniest amount of this, obviously, because it is white. Maybe I'll just go for MAC. Oh, darling, extra dimension skin finish. You see, that I feel like is really pretty. I've been using a lot more MAC recently. I really want to go though to like a MAC training or like a Charlotte Tilbury training for like their staff and stuff. That's something I really miss about not working in store anymore. You know, learning off different artists, learning new tips and tricks. That's something I, and I miss big time since I'm in this little room by myself is actually communicating with people and maybe that's why I'm so bloody weird just because I'm in here by myself all the time. <laughs> Moving on to thy brows and this part has a giveaway. <laughs> so obviously if you guys watch me then you know the only thing that I use on my eyebrows is Benefit. I've been working with them all year. We've been doing loads of fun giveaways, loads of fun videos, all the good stuff, all the good stuff. So Benefit reached out to me and wanted to do something fun a fun giveaway for the end of the year. They have loads of gift sets in store, obviously for Christmas and whatnot. So basically I picked my two faves, my two favorites, and I'm just gonna show you them real quick. First off, we have this triple decker decadence cake tin, which come on, look at it. Packaging alone, I die for. Like I, if you get this, keep the packaging, because it's so bloody cute. 
This is worth 97 euro, but retails for 45. So less than half price. So you get more than 50% off, and I haven't a clue how to feckin' open this. So you get your Benefit Professional Bad Gal Bang Mascara, which it has been one of the top mascaras of the year. Then you have your high brow for cleaning up your brows, a cute little go-go tint. And the second gift set that I picked out that I just think is such good value. All right, is the Magical Brow Star. So this guy retails for 154 and you're getting it for 65. Wow, that's nearly 100 euro off this. Again, the packaging is so cute. You guys know Benefit is my favorite brow brand, so this is why I picked this gift set in particular. You get all the brow heroes in it. Goof so proof, precisely my brow. You have the foolproof powder, you little spoolie and brush, you have Gimme Brow Plus. And you also have cover out as well. So if you know anybody who is like mad into their eyebrows, or maybe someone playing around with like different products and like wants to get better at their eyebrows, then I feel like this, this is the shit for them. This being my favorite gift set, we're giving away it to one of my lucky followers. Very simple. All you gotta do is be following me and better for Ireland. Post a little screen grab thing of you watching this video right now. Post it to your story, tagging myself and Benefit Ireland and you can win this bad boy. Early little Christmas gift for yourself. Get your brows on fleek. Start 2019 with good eyebrows. With that being said, <laughs> let's put on my eyebrows please. Using Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 3. Just smile and wave, boys. Just smile and wave. Then setting that in place with my 24 hour brow setter. This is like super glue for your eyebrows. I tell you what, I tell you what I've been using this product for as well. My baby hairs. They don't have a feckin' look in when it comes to this shit. Like, look how smooth my head looks. You're welcome. All down to this guy. It just combs them into place properly, you know? Now, moving on to the eyes. I think the thing that has really shook the world in 2018, the beauty world, P. Louise Base, of course. This has been the most innovative product, I feel like, of 2018. It has changed the way artists do their makeup completely and just P. Louise's Makeup Academy Instagram in general I feel like has inspired and changed the makeup game and made it a lot more colourful this year. There's so much makeup coming out recently and it's so hard to like think of something new that no one else has done before and I feel like Paige just really hit the nail on the head with this one. Not selling that because, well, you should know why not now. And if you don't know, where have you been for all of 2018? Moving on to palette. 2018 definitely has been the year of palettes. We've had the P. Louise palette, Manny Emue Lunar Beauty palette. These colors I use so much for Halloween for like shading and stuff. Cece Marie, B Perfect palette, obviously. James Charles gorgeousness and then this palette and then this palette from some little irish girl he <laughs> again there's been so many palettes this year i feel like the eyeshadow game was just completely upped completely i'm very proud to have my own product hopefully included in one of your favorites of 2018 definitely one of mine obviously as this is my perfect eyeshadow palette. <laughs> so what are we going to do with it? I think I'm just going to do something boring. That being said, I'm going to take a little bit of savior and get do a some fun situation here. I'm really excited to know what your guys's, you guys's favorite products of 2018 have been. So please leave them down below. Let me know down below your like must haves or stuff that you think I need to try. I need to get my ass out and try. And also, let me know down below your favorite like beauty moments of 2018. Obviously, mine has to be coming out with my own products, which is just crazy. <laughs> Bloody roller coaster. But what's been your favorite? Whether it's something you learned how to do with your makeup finally, whether you finally found a product that suits your face, your skin, even something someone else did that you loved. Just taking the tiniest teeniest amount of chaos 
and just blending it across that lid for like a slight petrol look, you know? Moving on to mascaras, there's been a few I used this year, so we had Benefit, Bad Gal Bang, which I literally only threw out recently enough. I had it <laughs> way longer than I probably should have. It lasted me that long, girl. Listen, I know people say you're supposed to throw out mascaras and makeups or whatever after the sell, but I did and whatever, but I don't do that. What can I say? I live in the wild side. And an oldie but a goodie that I actually tried out properly this year that I've been loving recently is the Benefit Roller Lash. If you've got short ass little stubby ass lashes, let me tell you something. This will make them come through. Obviously, Sosu have been my favourite lash brand this forever. I'm wearing the style of Black Heart today. Boom. Instantly better looking. Just a quick little honorary mention. Uh, something that came into my life this year was the Urban Decay Cold Pencils. They're shimmery, super long lasting. Just nice if you're wanting to add a little bit more color. And another thing that I have to mention, obviously, is the Steel of Magnificent Metals. I use these guys to absolute death at the start of the year. I absolutely love them. For lips, nothing's... Nothing's really changed this year, honestly. Still sticking to the nudes. 63 Lip Liner, Inglot. Still one of my faves. MAC Strip Down Liner. I'm using the MAC Lip Gloss in Holiday Miracle. That's just a really nice lip gloss with a slight little hint of metallicness to it, so it makes your lips look even fear. Last but certainly not least, a setting spray I feel like has changed again the makeup game this year is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. <laughs> it has a continuous spray on it, like a hairspray. Finest mist. I love it. You don't get any like ooey, spitty little blobs from it or anything like that. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoyed looking back, reminiscing on some of the best products of 2018. Well, in my opinion, anyways, the products that I've been obsessed with. Again, let me know down below your favorite products, any products you feel like I need to try in 2019 or products you think that, or products you'd like to review properly in 2019. I have loads of new videos coming up, guys. I've got a clothing haul, don't worry. It's coming. I've got a video coming on what I've learned throughout 2018 because I feel like I learned a lot and there's a lot of stuff that I haven't talked to you guys about yet <laughs> that I'd like to talk to you about and like to address and whatnot. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up or a stubby thumbs up. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. <gasps>